Boundary editing history form has been added to PowerMill. The history can be manipulated and recalculated to make changes to an existing boundary. In order to demonstrate this, I will first select a surface, and then I will create a selected surface boundary from it. You may notice at the bottom of the form, we now have the option to apply edit history on calculation. So if I leave this ticked, I can then go ahead and calculate my boundary. Now that I have my boundary, there are a few changes that I wish to make. First of which is in the curve editor. I would first like to do a 3D smooth offset by firstly offsetting it outwards, and then I will offset it inwards by the same amount. We can also see that there are a number of points making up the boundary curve. To reduce these, I'm going to apply a spline fit. The value I used did not achieve the fit I wanted, so if I increase the tolerance a bit, I now should have a curve that I am happy with. So I can go ahead and accept the changes in the curve editor. Finally, there is an additional edit I would like to make and that is to move the boundary slightly above the model. I can do this by choosing to transform the boundary in the Z direction by a distance of about 30 millimeters. I'm now happy with the transform and I can accept those changes. I can access the boundary editing history form where I can see every edit that I've just made. So the first spline fit I tried didn't exactly work so I can just delete it from the history. Additionally, I can also change the offset from minus two to minus three. And finally, I think the transform is too much, so I can change that to 20 millimeters instead. As long as I have the surface selected, I can now recalculate the boundary from directly within this form. Now that I have a boundary I'm happy with, I can use it to create a toolpath. I just select my boundary in the limit page, and then I can calculate the toolpath. In this instance, I have another project with similar geometry that I would like to use the same toolpath on. So I'm going to create a template from this toolpath, which I will then save as mirror. Now once I have the template created, I can open up my other project where I would like to use the template to machine these surfaces. All I have to do is select the surfaces and then choose the template strategy from the form and I can just go ahead and calculate it. So the same toolpath as in the previous project has now been applied and it also uses the same type of boundary. Additionally, I can now go ahead and open up the boundary editing history form where I can see that all of the edits made from the previous project have also been applied in this project. And again, I can choose to manipulate and recalculate the boundary from within this form. 